Over the last three days, schools across the upstate have been dealing with a number of safety issues. And most recently today, a gun was found at one school and two students taken in for questioning at another. And we talked to administrators who have a message for both students and parents. In the wake of deadly school shootings, like we saw at UNC Charlotte last week and in Highlands Ranch, Colorado this week, it's not uncommon to see a spike in school threats. Upstate schools are not immune. This morning, Cowpens Middle School in Spartanburg County got a call about a potential threat and two students were pulled from the car line for questioning. The takeaway, if anything, is that these students need to realize even if this is, in their ideas, a joke, it's not a joke to us. In Greenville County, a loaded gun was found today inside a student's parked car at Ennery Career Center. Weapons are not allowed on school property, anywhere on school property. Um, it's just not okay. Greenville School says 17-year-old Savannah Reese had not made any threats, but she was arrested and is charged. Administrators stress, if you see something, say something. It's a policy that worked here at the Ennery Career Center because of a student's willingness to come forward with the safety concern. Wednesday, we told you about a hit list at a Spindale, North Carolina elementary school. The same day, a toy gun was found at Star Iva Middle School in Anderson County, and a school bus was shot at in Pickens County. Family therapist Dr. Roger Rhodes says parents can use the recent news to check in with kids about which classmates may be crying out for help. Always with children, work toward the question you're going to get more information. As for online threats, administrators urge students not to share those, pointing to a Snapchat threat this week against the letters RHS that the district says was unfounded but still caused alarm at Riverside High School. That causes more problems than it solves. So instead, districts urge you to contact administrators or law enforcement directly. That way they can investigate those online posts before they cause unnecessary alarm.